Welcome back into Sports Connection. Sitting here to my right is uh, the man, the myth, the legend on and off the field of Glasgow. He was a legend way before I was even born. <laughs> the <laughs> Glasgow Scotties baseball head coach, Mr. Sam Royce. Sir, how are you doing today? Doing fine. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. I mean, Brian, what's, you know, we got a legend sitting here with Very us, much man. so. Uh, you know, you announced that your retirement from the baseball uh, head coaching position a couple weeks ago. You know, you know, what went into that decision for you to, to say that this is it for you? Boy, that's a hard question right out of Basically, it's just, uh, you know, I've, I've reached a point in my life where I just don't feel like I can give the game what the game demands. Um, I just don't have the energy level. And uh, uh, so I just, uh, what's best for all is to just step aside and let somebody with more energy and younger and um, probably just a lot of things come in and take it over. Still in good shape. Coach, it just shows the gratitude and the respect you have for the game of baseball. And is that part of what's kept this drive going for you, coaching all these years? Well, I love coaching baseball. I, I love coaching baseball, and it was doubly sweet because I was coaching where I grew up. Uh, I was coaching exactly on the same field that I played on when I first started playing baseball back in when I'm 50 some years ago, 55, 58 years ago, something like that. I was coaching in the exact same field. And it changed a great deal, but so I, I just I loved what I was doing, and I loved I was coaching the Scotties, man. And to me, that's a great honor in and of itself. Well, then we'll, we'll go all the way back. Then you know what made you decide that you wanted to get into the world of coaching? Oh, I, that, I've told this story before. But my father grew up in Paris, Kentucky. He played football and basketball for Blanton Collier, who later went to University of Kentucky, and then later coached the Cleveland Browns. So, and he learned great lessons from Blanton Collier that he brought to him and he passed on to his children. And then when I was just a small lad in Glasgow, we had a football coach by the name of Butch Gilbert and we had a basketball coach by the name of Jim Richards, who are, they are legends. <laughs> Y'all are just telling me that. They, they are legendary people um, in, in, in the world. And, um, and once again, I, I just was always around sports. I was always around, you know, watching them practice, even as a little fella. And I, I don't know. And then as I got into high school, then I had two other legends and Coy Meadows, who was my football and head baseball coach, and Johnny Vance, who was an assistant football and assistant baseball coach at the time. And then um, those, that's the foundation. It started with my dad, Coach Richards and Coach Gilbert, who I just, just, I mean, those are good guys to watch now. And then Coach Meadows, Coach Vance, and then I was fortunate enough that I was a pretty good player and got to go off and play uh, junior college. And, and, and then I played baseball at Troy University for a legendary coach in Chase Riddle. And, uh, played junior college for a legendary coach at QV Lowe. So I've just always been around these great coaches. Um, but I, 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 I just, I just kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. I love the games and, I, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. Well, not only coach, were you around uh, great mentors like you just mentioned, mm -hmm. but you were also around some great Glasgow talent and, and played against some good Barron County talent over the years as well. But if you had to go back and pick one or two or three or I was kind of, you know, maybe not the most athletic kid, but the most raw, talented kid you call, saw come into camp in the summer or fall or whenever, and you thought, man, this kid's really, really got it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, they had a little thing up at school last Friday to celebrate this occasion, and the room was full of former players, and I'd never seen those guys in one room at the same time. Um, I mean, if, if you start with, I can start with Rodney Henderson, who made it to the big leagues, okay? And he was just a good player. And then, but it, it doesn't stop there. We, we had other guys like Matt Bowles, who pitched at University of Kentucky and played some pro ball. Matt Alexander, that pitched at David Lipscomb. David Lane, that pitched at Auburn University of Montgomery. We had um, Jeff Garman, the football coach, who pitched over to uh, what is now University of Cumberland's. Um, James Happy Neal uh, was no, he's unquestionably the best hitter that we ever coached, unquestionably. And then, uh, cause he just, he just could, could hit it. 
and I'm so afraid of leaving somebody sure. out. But with those guys that I mentioned, and Brandon Kearney, who came along, and then uh, he, he came along a, a, in the in the early '90s, and then, um, who, um, I don't know. It, it's just it's hard to say. One, one of the most talented, completely talented players, and. Uh, a guy named Timmy Pierce. He was on the 97 Final Four team, and this is how Timmy was very athletic. He was a soccer player, um, and, and he also uh, kicked on the football team. He kicked it very well. But in baseball, he was a left-hand hitter, and he, he could hit for power. He could hit for average. He could pitch. He could play the infield. He could catch. He could play the outfield. He could, there was nothing that he lacked as far as high school baseball skills. So as being a guy who had the most tools, I'd have to say probably Timmy Pierce, but the other guys were just such such great players, just such great players. For sure, you know, uh, it's obviously so fresh that, you, that you're that out of this now, but you know, what, what are you gonna miss the most about, you know, being on the field all the time or coaching guys and, 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 and empowering, empowering young men uh, to become the best athletes that they can be? Um, that's probably the one thing that I'll miss the most is just, it's just working with the athletes in general and teaching the skills of, of baseball and trying to develop the skills of baseball and try to, try to develop them in from being, you know, 14, 14, 15 year old freshmen coming in and bringing them on up the ladder and watching them develop as human beings, as students, as, as people, as baseball players and watching them leave, watching them graduate a, a different person, a different person and then, and then, um, then, then being so so tickled when they come back to see me, you know. When, when all coaches are like that, all coaches they they want their former guys to come back. But it 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 particularly tickles me. It tickled me the other day so much to see so many players come back. And uh, and once again, there was some there was some talented youngsters, and I, I just hadn't thought about that. But uh, they probably should have fired me 25 years ago <laughs> for not winning more than I did. <laughs> with that type of ability that was in that room that day. Well, it's not always all about wins and losses, Coach, and uh, we thank you for your years uh, that you put in there and, and for the, what you just alluded to, you know, seeing young men change and, and, and develop into the men that are going to go out and, and have families and, and mm -hmm. raise kids, and uh, those are the kind of the values that, that we hope are still stalwart in, in coaches' minds these days. I know we're a little different times than uh, back then, but uh, I guess we got to get out of here. Never enough time. I wanted to give you a, a really good send-off on Sports Connection. Uh, I know as the media, as one of them, we're going to really miss covering you yeah. every, every year, Coach. But what are you going to do now? Are you going to hunt, fish? What are you going to do? Uh, I'm looking for opportunities. I, I think everybody's I think it, Everybody's always looking for another opportunity. And now, uh, now I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Got lots of room to look, lots of time to look, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I do have a new granddaughter that's five and a half months old, lives in Knoxville. So my availability to um, go help babysit with her and watch her grow up is, is increased. And then there's always something to do. There's always something to do to keep yourself busy. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, congratulations to Thank you, you on your new granddaughter. Thank and you very much. Congratulations on your retirement, such a historic career story career. Thank you for joining us here. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Well, don't go anywhere. We have more Sports Connections after the break.